YouTube, how we doing? PPS back here. It is the 19th of August. You guys know we had passed the cop this morning, coming at you with an afternoon free play here. Um, only one spot. Going to give you a plus money spot today. Uh, but, yeah, make sure. Um, I think the link's up here. Make sure you check out Pass the Prop from this morning. Me and my Antone dropped them about five hours ago already. Man, this day is flying by. Uh, coming at you with another free play here. So, obviously, the two there, one here. Um, but, yeah, let's get to the recap. And, and it, this might be the worst recap I could ever have um, for the sheer fact that this might have been one of the worst beats I've had in a while. Um, Machado got his homer. Um, Corbin Burns had six. Um, he had a chance. I think he had like five or six, two, two strike counts, um, turning into pop-ups. Then he gives up a triple council pulls him, uh, going up against Gallo as the next hitter. Not, not ideal. Worst beat of my life, at least of this season that I can remember that was non extra innings related. That's why we do these. So I don't have to worry about the extra innings and Will Smith, uh, a, a catcher, like a good catcher, a good MLB catcher, completely misses the ball on a third strike. Next guy hits a homer, puts it over. Um, the strikeout would have been the third out of the inning. Would have cashed this. It would have been over with. Um, but obviously, um, Will Smith happens here. So, whatever. Just happy that the Brewers won and the Dodgers lose that one for the fact that he screwed me over and lost me money. But – Let's get into today's spot. A guy I talked about on Past the Prop a lot this morning. Um, we're going to go back to him today. And it's going to be Cole Irvin here. Um, over 18 and a half outs recorded. Um, I absolutely love Cole Irvin in this spot tonight. Um, obviously, Seattle's good. I'm not going to take anything away from them. Um, but they're not anything completely special, really. Right? I mean, obviously, Julio being back is good for them. And, um, yeah, I mean, there's really not much else to talk about for them. They're, they've had 236 on the road this season, um, pro probably playing in the best pitcher's park outside of San Francisco. Um, on the docket here, Mariners are 236 against lefties as well. So nothing too crazy. They're bottom of the league in both or bottom half of the league in both. But Cole Irvin at home, I talk about him every single time, man. 1.6 ERA, 194 batting average allowed. He's been absolutely fantastic. Um, really nothing else you can really say about him. 291 ERA um, since the second half of the season has started up. Um, on the season, he's got a 313 ERA. Really, really good. Obviously, his win-loss record is not great, but that's obviously because he's playing for the athletics. But let's just look at, like, let's go last five outings at home here. Um, July, in June. Two, he lost 2-0 to the Kansas City Royals through 19 outs. Toronto, eight innings, four Ks, four hits, win 5-1 at home. Obviously, eight innings were cashless. Astros, he went six, so had a very quality start. Um, faced the Rangers, seven innings, hits this, faces that same Astros team, seven innings, two runs, hits this, and they win. And then the Angels, eight innings. So he's hit this in four of his last five, and the only other one was by the hook, right? Um, and Irvin is actually ranked number one in pitches per plate appearance for pitchers, only about 3.58 pitches per plate appearance. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, his ground ball rate is very, very good. And here, it doesn't really matter, right? Because at home, um, he's got 40% of each um, of ground ball rate and fly ball rate. So those fly balls, they're not really, you're not going to really have to worry about that too much here. Um, it, it takes a mighty poke to get one out of um, the Coliseum there. Um, one thing I do like also is he has about a 68% um, – or he's only got a 32% hard hit rate. So 68% of those balls are not coming out anywhere close to hard enough to get out of the stadium here. Um, Cole Urban has a fantastic whip too, 1.05. So obviously um, the home runs being lower, he's given up 15 home runs in 129 innings. So obviously that is very, very important here to limit that um, slugging because he really hasn't been giving up those big innings where you're getting two, three guys on base in one inning, right? You're, you have to pretty much hit a homer against him. And at home, it is very hard to do that. He's given up um, only two home runs at home this year in 70 innings. That is unbelievable. That is great. 
great efficiency. I love Cole Irvin tonight to get us to 19 outs. Um, like I said, number one in the MLB in um, pitches per plate appearance. You guys know I love rocking Framber Valdez. He's number five on that list. So that just shows how efficient Cole Irvin has been. So I love this spot, giving it to me at plus money. I got to get that sour taste out of my mouth from yesterday um, in that Brewers loss there. But obviously they won, so I'll be, I'll be happy. They got the W um, against the Dodgers. So um, very excited for today's slate. It's huge. A lot of great pitching on today's slate. So let's get to it. Cole Irvin, over 18 and a half recorded outs. Smash that like button. Throw this in your place tonight. Uh, I really like this spot, and I think we can take care of business here. So Cole Irvin over 18 outs, plus 110. Throw it in there. Let's get it. Have a good one, guys.